Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad here from Grayscale Gorilla. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through our new neon materials in Grayscale Gorilla Plus. Here we are in Octane. So uh, we've got our cool neon sign model with all the crazy details all in there. And by the way, we're gonna be uh, actually putting out this as a font, a 3D file with all the letters that you're gonna be able to use if you're a Plus member. That'll be uploaded soon for you guys. Okay, so let's take a look at these neon materials. It's just a really fun little pack with some great options here. So if we jump down into the plus library, and let me go ahead and start off my live viewer here, and let's just drag, we went down to our plus library over to materials tab, all the way down to neon octane, and let's grab this blue one and throw it onto our head, our gorilla, grayscale gorilla head, and maybe we'll throw the neon pink onto the octane tubes. And you can see they just automatically work and they just look really, really nice. And just, uh, just to let you know, I am using a little bit of post, a little bit of blooms. In fact, we might bring that up but just a little bit brighter. And I'll show you how to adjust the intensity of this and some of the other cool features in there as well. All right, real quick, let's just go ahead and maybe throw on a few different colors here. Maybe we'll do green on these tubes and orange on those and maybe purple on this one and let's do like a light pink on this one and then for the hearts we'll just do red so i'm going to grab all the hearts and i'm going to double click the red and we'll just right click in our material lister here and say apply and there we have the red uh oops i accidentally put it on the head too so let's just delete that there we go there you have it. I mean, they look really, really nice. You know, lots of little cool details. If you actually zoom in here, you've got little bits of dirt on the neon, which is kind of a nice little, little detail on there. All right, so let's take a look at one of these materials and see what we got. Let's grab the blue that's on the grayscale gorilla head here. And let's jump into the node editor, get active material and see what's going on. Okay, so if you want to adjust the intensity of the neon, you're gonna do that through the texture emission node right here, and you're gonna bring that power down or up. Obviously, that's a pretty bright neon light, like they don't normally get that light. But what's great is you can adjust the intensity really easily right here, and if you kind of bring it down really, really low, and we zoom in here on this corner, you're gonna notice that they, they do have a glass type of reflection on them. So if they're completely dim, they will have like a glass, glassy kind of look to them. Let's bring that intensity back up to something like that. Cool. And you notice they also have a little bit of variation to them. They're not completely uniform, which is really important for making neon look real, is that neon lights are not completely uniform. The way that the gas works and everything inside of them, it's, there's a little bit of variation there. So if we grab this green and we come over here, I just want to show you parts of this material. So talking more about the emission, which is how these things are being driven, uh, we've got two noises driving or going into a multiply node that are being multiplied on top of each other that are affecting the distribution of the intensity of, the, of this light. So if I come over to this noise and I hit D, it's gonna isolate just that noise layer. You can see that noise being multiplied on there. It's that dirt that we looked at earlier. And if we look at the, uh, the other one, we hit D, we hit D again, you can see we've got a little bit of variation here to break up that distribution so that it's not completely uniform. And if we hit D to go back out, then we go up to the top to look at what we're doing in the albedo. Uh, it's pretty simple. We've got a fall off map that is giving us that angle of incidence look that is driving the neon. That's being multiplied by a noise to basically give us more of that variation so that we're not getting a completely uniform green color. That's being multiplied together to create this. And then that whole thing is driving a gradient, which is this color right here. And this is where the neon color comes in. So let me just hit D again to get back out. And now we're looking at the entire material here. Let's just take that, there we go. So there you have it. And of course you can adjust the intensity of that neon to make it look a little bit brighter if you want, create some variation. And yeah, they just end up looking really, really nice. Let's just kind of find a nice little angle here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And let's maybe take our pink and make that one a little bit brighter. Be like six. 
and the orange maybe actually our purple needs to be a little bit brighter because our purples purple neon is tends to be pretty dark anyway so let's just brighten that up a little bit and the pink that's driving our octane logo let's make that like six stuff like that cool so yeah there you have it it's a uh, pretty uh pretty simple but we do have lots of neat color options here so you can just start dragging them around and making cool neon signs all right hope you enjoyed the video i will see you next time